see something and I know that we The ugly, unsightly, discolored veins can make a great pair of legs look awful. And if you're self-conscious about varicose veins, well, there are treatments that can help you. Dr. Adam Groper is here to tell us more on the latest treatments and how you can make those legs look so much better. Welcome, Dr. Groper. Thanks for having me, Trina. What causes varicose veins? Well, they're usually genetic. Uh, certain things can aggravate the condition. Uh, pregnancy, uh, being overweight, uh, various types of hormone stimulation, those can all make the condition worse. But generally, it's a hereditary disorder. Okay, you have one of your patients here, or one of your friends here, Jackie, who yes. is suffering from varicose veins. Yes, Jackie has uh, the two most common types of veins that we see in our practice, varicose veins, which are these uh, sort of bulging veins here. You can see she's got them here and here on her knee. And uh, these, these are not just uh, a problem with the appearance. These are a real medical problem. Uh, patients with, with varicose veins can develop a lot of leg pain. Jackie works on her feet and uh, by the end of the day, her legs are really tired and aching and the varicose veins themselves mm -hmm. hurt. And she even develops some leg swelling. And uh, as, this, as the condition worsens, uh, they can go on to develop skin changes and even ulcers. So this is a real medical problem that, that needs to be treated. Tell me about some of the treatments that could take care of a problem such as Jackie's. Well, for the varicose veins, uh, what we need to do is, is carefully evaluate her legs with ultrasound. Usually there's uh, an underlying vein that is diseased. Uh, normal veins have valves in them that keep the blood flowing in one direction. And in somebody like Jackie, those valves ha ha are not working and allow the blood to flow in the, in the reverse direction. And Let's that leads some to... some photos up right now and show some other examples yeah. that you've sent to us. The, now, now the, how do you know when you should get help? Well, these are actually spider veins that are being shown right now. Uh, which Jackie also has on her legs. And that's a good example of a varicose vein. Uh, and uh, that's an after on that same patient. The way we treat these is we, we find the culprit vein and we can put a, a laser fiber inside the vein and actually destroy the vein on the inside. And that will get rid of a lot of the dilated varicose veins and, solve and, and fix her symptoms. Is this something that insurance would pay for? Generally it will. So it's not a cosmetic procedure? No, not for varicose veins. Um, I did want to talk about spider veins as well, which is a cosmetic issue and we see a lot of patients with this problem. It's these little purplish uh, veins you can see on Jackie, purple and red. They kind of fan out on the skin. The way we treat those is, is with a procedure called sclerotherapy. We inject a solution into those veins and uh, over time they get resorbed and go away. What if Jackie did nothing? What's, well, what's the end result if she doesn't get this treated? Well, with the spider veins, it, again, it's just cosmetic, but the varicose veins can lead to more severe problems, the ulcers, uh, skin changes, uh, even blood clots in the legs. Could she go in and have this all in one procedure? Is it outpatient or it's, something more it, serious? It's an outpatient procedure. It's done in, in an office. Uh, generally, you know, when you have fairly extensive disease, you need it. it, it it's a series of treatments that you have to go through. Uh, Jackie would probably need a couple of uh, procedures uh, over, spaced over a couple of months' time to really fix a lot of this. What, for example, for darker skin, does the same procedures work on darker skin? For the varicose veins, yes. Um, when you when you start injecting the sclera, uh, doing the sclerotherapy for spider veins. In darker skin patients, you can get a lot of uh, hyperpigmentation in the skin. The skin can get darker and stay that way. Uh, there are some people that try to treat spider veins with topical laser, which I don't recommend. That can really uh, make the skin a lot darker. Uh, so. All righty. Yeah. Well, Dr. Groper, thank you so much. I know you're giving information that can help a lot of folks, and hopefully they'll go and see you if they have the problem. For more information on how to feel vein-free and look a whole lot better and more confident, you can give Dr. Adam Groper a call. His number is 305-957-7277, or check them out online at northbeachvascular.com. Roxy.